In Pegwa's First Nation, two Junior B Championship banners hang as a third sits with the league trophy. In all, three consecutive provincial titles. This year, players were hoping for a fourth. That was until half the league decided they would no longer play here. It's a big difference between uh, motivation and competition between everyone now. The fans look forward to coming out and watching good hockey against like the other five teams that came here. Manitoba's Keystone Junior Hockey League once operated as a province-wide league until this season when five teams split to form a league of their own, leaving behind four teams all based in First Nations communities, including Peglis. The team is asking for a court injunction against this, the new Capital Region Junior League, claiming it's illegally using players under contract to the old KJHL. While the teams themselves all have Indigenous and non-Indigenous players, Pegwis's chief says there's a clear message. It's blatant racism, I believe. Being three-time defending champions of First Nation team, it's basically uh, little Johnny taking the puck away. And, and that shouldn't happen in Canada. The lawyer for the new league declined to speak. In court today, he argued the decision to withdraw is due to cost and safety concerns over travel in light of the Humboldt crash. Meanwhile, Hockey Manitoba, which governs Junior B, says the court has no jurisdiction here. It seems like they were uh, siding with uh, the other league, and, and that shouldn't be. They're here representing all of us. Junior B is third-tier junior hockey. Most here aren't NHL-bound. But in rural Manitoba, it's a staple. The rivalry's intense. This injunction could be the ultimate power play. If successful, the new league could be suspended. These guys just want their old league back. It's a pretty good league. A lot of good talent is, comes out here, I think. Right now, there's more at stake in the face-off in court than on the ice. Cameron McIntosh, CBC News, Pegasus.